there, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, it is Friday Eve. I like Friday Eve. Oh, look, I popped right up on my... Oh, hang on, like hang on, Friday hang on. Evening. Popped right up on my Facebook. So, let me tell you something about Facebook. They like to change things just for the sake of changing things. Hi, Linda. And one of the things that they've changed is um, how I see comments. And I don't see a lot of comments. Sometimes I see them just for a split second on my screen up here that you can't see. It's right behind me. And um, then I don't see them again. And then um, sometimes it lets me know that you guys have commented. Whoop! And sometimes it does not. And so um, if I don't comment or I don't acknowledge you, I am, first of all, let me apologize. That is not my intent to be um, inconsiderate. Um, but Facebook isn't helping me. <laughs> so here's what I have to say. If you really, really, really like want my attention, you should email me or send me a message on Facebook. Okay. And I promise I will get back to you. At least I really hope I will because I mean, again, it's not my intent to, um, to not communicate with you. Okay. So, all right. So we're going to make quick and easy note cards. I'm going to use this paper, which is the boughs of holly paper, and it is so pretty. Look, look at how pretty it is. It's gorgeous. It's so Christmassy. Look at these trees. <gasps> let's look at the let's look at the back side. So we just have some like watercolor stuff. Ooh, that one's a really rustic one. I like that. Okay, so that's the paper we're using. Um, I'm going to show you the down and dirty. Um, and so I'm going to start with a six by six piece of paper. Okay. And the reason I'm going to do that is because some of our paper comes in six by six and I don't want you to be disappointed because you only have a six by six piece of paper because that's fine. We're going to actually make four cards using that. Okay. Are you ready? So. This piece we're going to cut three by three. <laughs> Hi, Peggy. I'm glad you caught me from the beginning. So we're going to cut these into three by three. Okay. So there's all four of those. Now I'm going to stack them up and I'm going to lay them on my trimmer, not straight. Okay. I'm going to cut them at a diagonal and I, there's no measurement. Like, I'm just going to lay them down and cut them, okay? All four at the same time. Okay, I'm going to set these over here. Now, this paper, since we're going to make all four of these cards, actually, I'm going to cut this. You can get five of these out of here. So, we're going to cut it four and three quarters. Four and three quarters by four and a quarter, three and a quarter, excuse me, three and a quarter, three and a quarter, that's extra. We'll put that in the scrap bin, we'll use it later. So we're gonna cut this at three and a quarter, and then at three and three quarters. Like almost four and three quarters. Almost forgot. So I'm going to have five of these. I'll have an extra one. That's okay. I'll use it later. Okay. So there's, we can cut five of those out of one sheet of paper if you do it that way. Okay. Okay. And then I need some one and a quarter inch strips. So if you have some scraps, you can use them all up. So if you have any 3x3 three three paper, you can use it for this card and make some super cute quick note cards. Now, here's the note cards we're using. 
These are the craft note cards and envelopes. There are 20 in this pack. 20 note cards, 20 envelopes. I love these. And then there's a box. There's a box. I, and now I have one made because I made it and I was like, well, that's, there's a box. So you can make the box. I'll make it later. I'll make it at the end. So that way you don't have to watch if you don't want to. Okay, we'll make the box at the end. Anyway, there's a box that goes along with it. All right. Let's get our papers out here. Okay, so we're going to take... Oh, I have a look. I have a brand new glue. Brand new glue in my amazing purple glue holder. Okay. Look, the lid fits right in there. If you need a glue holder, let me know. I sell them. They're $4 a piece. Please message me. Don't just comment. Again, I'll, I'll lose it. I'll never find you. Okay, so we're going to glue this on the top. We're going to leave our little border. And then we're going to glue the bottom on the bottom. Yeah, that's the one that goes. I was like, I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them mixed up. This is real red cardstock. Christmas red. If you need a real Christmas red, I use real red. Um, cherry cobbler is also in this paper, so cherry cobbler is a good choice too, but the real red just screams Christmas to me. So that's what we're using. Because these are going to be little Christmas notes, note cards. You could put it on a present. So guess what happened today? So in a couple weeks, on the 23rd, I'll preface this. On the 23rd of July, I am having an event here in Central Georgia. It's an in-person event. And we're going to make some cards, eat some barbecue, and have a great time. So if you're anywhere near Central Georgia, I welcome you to come to one of my events. I think it would be fun. If you're not close to Central Georgia, I don't care. Come and visit me. We'll have a great time. So, um, I was talking about having my event, and I thought, when I have my event, I need to be ready for the next event. Right? I need to let these ladies know when the next one's going to be. Well... I have a friend who has a friend who owns a bakery and it's called little, oh my gosh, I'm going to mess the name up. Little sweet. I don't, I don't, I don't know the name of it. Anyway, she has an event space in the back of her little bakery and I'm going to use it for an event. And guess what? She said we could have a smorgasbord. I don't know if that's the word she used, but I kind of like to say that word. Of all kinds of little sweets and and mimosas not not real mimosas but like fake mimosas and um and then um chicken and waffles all little mini stuff and so that's where we're gonna have the next event and it's gonna be in October and we're gonna do Christmas themed and I can't wait to get all of the details but I know it's gonna be on the 20 second 23rd whatever that Saturday is like I talk about it like I know and then I can't remember okay so we're just stamping Merry Christmas hang on a minute it's from this stamp set hope and peace it's so pretty all the different peace on earth goodwill to men wishing you a hope and peace of Christ this season oh, that's a pretty one and I bet that would fit on here Emmanuel God with us I should stamp that on everything that I own. <sighs> Did you know that that's what that word means? The 23rd. Thank you, Beth. Um, Emmanuel. That's what that word means. It means God with us. And thank goodness. Thank God that he is. Because otherwise, I don't know where we'd be. Okay. So these are almost not quite long enough. We're going to run with it anyway. Okay. So now I'm going to glue these down. I should have grabbed my other um, ones that are longer, but these will be okay. Um, so we're going to 
lay it right down on there. You see my corners just almost don't go, like just almost don't go. Oh, we're gonna tr we're gonna trim the rest of that off. <laughs> Glue and all. Look, I'm getting gluey. Let's make that straight. Thank goodness I use liquid glue. Okay. Did I put the glue on the white piece? Because that's not the way it goes. Only because you don't know what you're going to cut off. And then it makes a mess. So don't do that, as I just showed you. So put the glue on the... Put the glue on the big piece. And then just lay your sentiment on there. And if your fingers are sticky, then that's going to come off too. We're going to trim that little booger off. You see my little booger? It's going to get trimmed off. Okay, so, yeah, so I'm already, uh, my event on the 23rd of July is going to be amazing. And I'm ready for the next one. Because <laughs> you always have to be ready for the next thing, right? We can't just sit and do nothing. We have to be ready for the next, the next one thing, right? human nature, I suppose. Or at least it's my nature. I don't just get to sit and not do anything. What does that even feel like? What does it even feel like to sit and do nothing? Goodness knows. Okay, so I'm just going to trim these off with the paper snips right up next to the real red cardstock. That's all. And then we're going to get some, ooh, you know what I'm going to use as embellishments? We're going to use red rhinestones as embellishments. I love those red rhinestones, and I have no idea how long they've been in the catalog. This is just a heads up for you. This is for me. This is a guess. I'm guessing that they've been in the catalog long enough. That if you really, really like the red rhinestones, you should get some because I'm going to guess that they're going to go away next time. It's just my thought. That's my gluey piece. I'll do it last. Just my thought. I have no insight whatsoever about the next catalog. Well, here's what I do know about the next catalog. It's already done. So no matter what we think or no matter what we tell Stampin' Up, it, that new catalog, next year's catalog, it's already done. They're so far ahead of us that we just, we, we just never know. Okay, so now we're going to glue this on our um, card base, our little note card base. And hi, Rhonda, I saw you sneak in there. I saw you, I saw you. I love these note cards. I just think they're great. I just think they're great. I like anything that saves me time. And these are pre-made. The, the cards and envelopes. So there you go. You don't have to go find an envelope that matches. Um, and you don't have to do anything to your card base. It's already done for you. We do have note cards. Um, regular white. Basic white and um, very vanilla. That I all the very vanilla ones are on low, low balance. So if you want some of them, go grab them. Um, uh, but yeah, there's they have those. The, so the um, white note cards and envelopes are seven dollars, and so are the very vanilla ones. These ones are ten, and I don't know if it's because it comes in a box. I don't know if. Uh, Craft paper is more expensive? I have no idea. These are 10, though. But you get 20 of them. And the box. We're going to make the box in just a second. Okay. So there's that. Now, let me see if I can strategically place red rhinestones so that you almost can't even see that my edge doesn't match up. I think I can. I think I can strategically place a couple rhinestones just like that. 
Nobody's ever going to know. Are they going to know that I'm covering something up? Are they going to know that I'm covering up my boo-boo there? Where it doesn't quite fit? I don't know. Again, if they don't like my card, I'll never send them another one. So there. Have you ever had somebody... Look, can I show you the two cards I got in the mail today? Tell me, tell me I'm not a happy girl. I got two cards in the mail today. So here's a card I got from a lady. I sold her some glue holders. And she sent me a check. And she sent me this card. And it's the Waves of the Ocean paper, which you can't get anymore. But, oh my gosh. So, look, she put little rhinestones on each one of them little seagulls. This is a pretty card. Pretty card. And then my friend Ginny sent me this one. Woohoo! She used the... Uh, the stamp a stack what was it called? The design that I did last week for the card. And she wrote thanks in here. I'm not going to read it to you. But she wrote thanks in here. And she spelled out the letter thanks. Like T was a true leader. H is happy. A is an awesome friend. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. And this had me laughing. It says never blocks my calls. I'm like, you're such a silly girl. K is kind-hearted, and S is the succulent queen. I have a whole, I have a mess of succulents, people. I love succulents, and it's an addiction. I have them all over my porch. It's like a, it's like a jungle out there on my porch. Oh, and I have a, um, what else do I have on my porch? I have a hibiscus, and it bloomed. My hibiscus that I got in mountain it's not a hibiscus that's not what it is at all it's a plumeria oh my goodness it's a plumeria and i got it in um can i show you something like i'm like a scatterbrain today hang on have you seen the these are in the annual catalog if you have not seen these i didn't quite get the edge of that one now these are called for everything fancy sequence hang on just a moment I'm going to show them to you in the catalog. You need these. You need these sequins, people. Everybody, these right here. For everything. For everything, fancy sequins. Let me tell you, this looks like nothing. This. It looks like nothing. I'm going to show these to you. Everybody needs these. If you have ever made a shaker card, ever want to make a shaker card, you need these. Look. Look at the size of this. It's like an inch thick. It's almost an inch thick. And it is completely full of these. Look at this amazingness. Look at that. There's blue. There's pink. <gasps> It makes my, my heart go pitter-pat. And there's green. Everybody needs these sequins, people. Order the sequins for everything. What, what was it called? For everything fancy sequins. Comes in a box like this. I wasn't expecting that either. But that's what's in here. Is these three whole big things full of sequins. You can make shaker cards for the rest of your life. That's just my input there. Again, my input. Wait. I want to do something to at least one of these. Have you seen these? So I'm done with my cards. You see that, right? Like, I'm done all four of them. I don't know how long I've been on here, but I'm done all four of them. So my quick card is done. So don't think it's not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with these, though. I need my real red marker. And I'm going to color the berries on here. And then I'm going to stick this on, my, on at least one of my cards. This is extra. This is extra, people. Because sometimes I'm extra. All right. Let's just stick it on there. I'm going to think I need a glue dot or two. Textural elements. These are in the holiday catalog. The January 
no, the July to December um, mini catalog. It's not called a holiday catalog anymore. Get it together, Sandra. Get it together. Y'all know what I mean, though, when I say that. Don't you? I know you do. Don't you? Don't you know? Okay, so here we go. This little guy. And you know what? I don't really, I don't, I don't think I like that. I think I'm going to do cherry. I know my paper was red. Oh, we're going to make them darker. I like the cherry cobbler color better on this. I can't stick it down because it's sticky now. I put glue dots on it. So I'm coloring in the air. Okay. There, there's a little extra. You don't need to do that. All right, so four cards. Lickety split. And the envelopes are near someplace. I don't know where I put them. But this sentiment, this here, hope and peace, that's a really pretty thing. Then here's your um, crap note cards and envelopes. And let me show you the box. The box has a lid. So it comes in the, in the package. You get it. It just comes with it. This is reminiscent of the... One of our note card, one of our boxes that we had one time, and it took us forever to figure out how to put it together. Like, as a community of stampers, it took us forever to figure out how to put it together. So, I remember from that. Okay. So, it goes this way. This goes in. This big flap goes on the bottom. Nope. It goes in last. So this goes down. That goes down. And these little flappy things are shown here. Okay. It's almost like you need a friend to help you put it together. Then this one comes in and makes the little flappy thing on the, on the bottom. See? So now when you have it folded, all these little flappy things are on the bottom. Now, you think that that's the lid, but it's not. So watch. It's the bottom of the box. And those, there's two little lips that fold right in there. So this is a kind of sturdy little box. And then we're going to do the same kind of thing for the lid of the box. Just fold all the edges so it's ready to be put together. It doesn't take long. I've only I've only done one of these, so it's not like I'm a pro. Okay, so it's the same concept. You'll have these pieces that fold flat here, and then on this side you'll have this piece that folds flat. There it goes. Like it's like that's not where I want to go. You have to kind of make it go. Okay? And then this piece, see these two little tabby things? They'll fold into there. So you fold it in and click it into the... Like, you know, I never worked fast food. I don't know if they, this is the same way you make certain pizza boxes or... I don't, I don't have any idea. So anyway, there's the box and the lid. And so now all of your cards... I'm guessing all 20 of them fit in there. I'm not really sure, but I'm guessing that they do. So if you needed to make, you can make it a gift. You can give them Christmas note cards and put them all in your little box. And there you go. Voila! You have a present all ready to go. Ha! Huh. So there you go. These are, again, these are the, what are they? Craft note cards and envelopes. So go get you some. All right, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for hanging out with me just a little bit, and I will catch you guys next week.